25. I think he's still the junior world champion. Had a great battle with Yona Veen Deep at the juniors. I think it was decided on body weight or maybe half a kilo. Yeah, it was it was tight the whole way. And actually, Etienne came in and looked really strong then. It doesn't seem like he's slowed down too much since. Now playing with the, the big boys in the open. Always a difficult transition. You're the biggest fish in the pond in the juniors and then you move up to the oceans of the seniors. Really nice. Yeah, that was easy. He He's been making a lot of noise about this debut and we can't wait to see it. 3.27 and a half on the bar. Yeah, from what we've seen, he's a pretty special talent, so I hope it transfers onto the platform here. Well, it was definitely deep. And when you look at his, uh, what he's weighed in at today, Amelia, oh, yeah, 105.0. So here's Etienne Elchar, Lebanon for 340. And I'm sure he'll be disappointed to be denied the rematch as well. I think for a lot of competitors, it's certainly for me, competition is what drives you, drives you in training. Yeah, but with also a position in the World Games, perhaps slightly less upset uh, about it this a fair time. Point, a fair point. <laughs> Starting to approach his top end now, I think. Rewind can squat. 3.47 and a half on the bar. Personal best at 3.60. He's a big squatter. He's actually very well rounded in all three lifts. And we saw in his opener, he lifts strong and can lift a standard. So excited to see where he ends up. Oh, a bit of a wobble there. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to see 3.60 from him today, but that is a good lift nonetheless. Um, quickly and these are big boys lifting big weights it's a good point to be honest we we used to thinking about relative weights relative to the weight class but the absolute load rises as we go through the weight classes and that's why the um, the body weight multipliers don't scale through. You're much more likely to get a high body weight multiplier as a lightweight lifter than a heavyweight lifter. Wow. Wow. What an absolutely perfect third attempt from Etienne there. Just for reference quickly, the world op open record is 386. But this is a mean squat from Bob. He's done this weight before, and let's hope he can remove that little bump he had from his second for his third. Just about. Wow. Yeah, that was a perfect attempt for personal best, it seems. So seeming really strong here. Yeah, you're right. The best I have for him is the 2.17 and a half he did in Romania at the, when he won the World Junior title. Graduated to the big boys this year. And he's not behind in the pack by any means. Ooh, oh, that changes things. We have Bob Matthews on the platform right now for 227 and a half. Hit to 40 at his national competition in March. Not super fast, but never in any doubt. Joe, what happened in it? Did he lose position? Was it just a bit too heavy? I it seems to too heavy. Yeah. But if he made a small technical error at the bottom, then it may have just gone offline. Bench is the most arguably technically difficult lift or complicated lift. So 
One small change can do a lot. Oh, and there we go. And you have to wonder what happened the first time around. He does get a blue from the centre referee, though. He's gone up to 2.35. We know he's done more than this in the past, but I'm not sure he's having the stellar day he was hoping for. Yeah, I believe it's his first time competing on international soil and it definitely takes getting used to. It definitely takes a toll. And so it, it might be taking that toll and the quick flights. Bit of a long press command there. And that was tough at lockout. Was just rose, the roof came off in support of this lifter. Etienne Elchar has nothing on the board and he is out for his third bench, 217 and a half for the third time of asking. No one wants to see him go out here. He needs to go there's elbows nice and locked. Move the fastest. And I think I saw him just rotate a tiny bit. Now he gets a yellow. Did he skip the command? Oh no, it's for elbows again. But a different well, deadlifter. He will be collecting more kilos in the deadlift. And Tony's trying to stay nice and close just in case Bob slips up. Absolutely spot on with the attempt selection for Team USA. America Raw Nationals, he started on 345 and jumped straight to 378 and a half. So. Wow. And you see he has the energy for it. But I don't think he's having as great a day as he hoped. I mean, he puts in next, but meanwhile, Etienne Elchar, he had a bit of a nightmare on bench. And he's opening his deadlift on 370 kilos. Is this a secret weapon he's been keeping under wraps, perhaps? Haven't seen him compete on the international platform for nearly a year, so may have been hard at work in the lab, developing this uh, deadlift into being an absolute weapon. Wow. Well. That's all we can say. I don't know. Power into grip strength. Now here's Bob Matthews to get back into the lead with 367 and a half. But if Etienne gets his 396, he will take the lead from Bob Matthews. Now this wasn't in anyone's predictions at all. No. And it sure will be a shake-up. We've seen upset after upset this championships. But it doesn't make it any less shocking. But we're not writing off Bob Matthews just yet. No, definitely not. Let's see how this moves for him. Oh, he moves really well. Yeah, almost had a bit of a wobble at the top and managed to hold on really Go for uh, a big lift on his third, and I think he still will go for it. But here we are, it's Etienne Elchar, Lebanon. Now. Open with 370, this is 396 to take Indy Singh's deadlift world record and also gets himself into the lead. We did not expect to see him going past Bob Matthews and we haven't seen it yet. But it's on the bar. Yeah, and this would have to move very well to get ahead of Bob if Bob gets his third pull. That Gary watching in the wings. World Open deadlift record. 396 kilos. Huge amount of weight. And it's going. I think he's got it. His knee is shaking like crazy. But wow, look at that strength. Yeah. Not the man in the lead. It is the world champion elect for 380 kilos. This will give him 970. And if he gets this, he cannot be caught. Wow. wow. And what 
a way to finish off your first IPF World Championship. Three white lights and your new 100. Well out of range, but it will take the world record and the deadlift gold. Yeah, and I, it, he got it up last time, but it's been only a few minutes since he attempted that. It is a very quick turnover and if he can't fix those infractions, it won't be there, but he knows what went wrong and perhaps he can fix it now for a new world record. See where the judgment was that he just wasn't, hadn't finished it. Reed. He's got all the support he could possibly ask for. 396, it's a big ask. He got it up last time. Let's see if he can get it done this time for a new deadlift world record. Etienne El -Shaye. are on their feet. Looks at the clock. 20 seconds left. Gets it moving again. Can he lock it out? Wow! It looks better. It does. Let's wait for the light. Three white lights, a good <laughs> lift, and a new wow. world record. That is not what we expected to see tonight.